from uh, Lethbridge East. Thank you. It is my honor to rise for the first time today and address this assembly. Congratulations to you in your election as Deputy Speaker. And thank you as well, Deputy Speaker, for the opportunity to respond to the speech from the throne. I would like to begin by thanking and honoring the constituents of Lethbridge East for entrusting me to represent them and be their voice here in legislature. Lethbridge has a population of just over 100,000 people and is often recognized as being Alberta's fourth largest city, but serves a much larger community as a central hub for a larger area all around southern Alberta, whose number then soars to approximately 350,000 people. We have strong roots in our land as people from the First Nations of the Kainai and Bikani, as well as the Métis, live all around us. And farmers for generations have given us a strong heritage in agriculture and food processing. Lethbridge is diverse in the sense of welcoming significant numbers of new Canadians to our city and our province. Many cultures, including Sudanese, Bhutanese, and Nepalese families, have come, from, come to Lethbridge and made this their home over the past few years. This is not new for Lethbridge, as we have families from all over the world. In a community of 100,000, these cultures make for a rich, varied, and by necessity inclusive environment. One of our most historical and treasured sites is the Niko Yuko Japanese Gardens, which commemorate how beautiful things can sometimes grow and help in the healing after adversity and conflict. We see diversity and inclusion again in our city by having both the Lethbridge College and the University of Leth Lethbridge. I am proud to say that I am a Red Seal journeyman carpenter, having graduated from the Lethbridge College in 2000 and had the opportunity to use these skills on, on many occasions at both institutions. These schools draw approximately 15,000 students annually to Lethbridge, as well as faculty and staff creating a vibrant community of learning, research, and having a strong impact on our economy. The speech from the throne highlights how important it is for our government to focus on our students, who are our future, and seek the highest quality education possible where the results of their learning prepares them for success no matter which avenue they take. Whether matching our universities to the competitive global market or developing the recognition of our skilled trades as, a vital, as vital in our workforce and economy, Lethbridge can play a key role in achieving many of these goals as we have the marketplace with stable jobs to employ our graduates. We are fortunate to have one of the most stable economies in the province, one that balances public service and private enterprise, research and development, agriculture, food production, and construction and technology, to name but a few. Another strength in our diversity is our seniors, a large and vibrant part of our community. We are a southern hub for retirement. We see many farmers pass on the lifeline of our agricultural commerce, the family farm, to the next generation, and then move to the city. They and many others come to Lethbridge for the stable real estate market, access to medical and health facilities and services, municipal parks and pathways, public transportation, arts and culture, and numerous other amenities and benefits. Which is why our government is so focused on jobs and the economy, to make sure that the people who work so very hard their entire lives, raising families, paying taxes, building our province and our country, have the opportunity, availability, and the affordable access to the services they need and deserve. In recognizing our diversity, I also want to recognize the often forgotten middle class in Lethbridge, the people who go to work every day as nurses and doctors, carpenters, electricians, teachers and counselors, police officers, golf course maintenance workers, first responders, professionals, mechanics and secretaries, and countless other trades, profession volunteers, parents and advocates who give of themselves to make our city a better place to live. I know these people, I have worked with them, been served by them, been treated by them and admire them. Many will never hear a thank you for their service or be recognized by an award. So every single one of them who feels like they haven't been heard or seen or remembered, this is for them. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. I am very proud to have had the chance to host our current Premier on a number of occasions to our city. Most recently, the Premier attended the Men's World Curling Championships, and last summer he also walked in our Whoop Up Days Parade. Both of these events celebrate and highlight our civic pride and collaborative nature. Thank you to the Premier. It is our responsibility and the high calling of this office to serve all of these individuals with excellence. 
for that is the standard they should expect. Nothing less will do. It is to be seen in our actions, heard in our words, and displayed in our very character to first hear them and then represent them. This high calling will always find itself at the intersection of today and tomorrow, caught between the demands of the now and the needs of the future. This is why it is so crucial to build our economy, develop our resources and markets, strengthen our trade relationships and balance our spending. In doing this, we can once again take our place as a global leader in ethics, economy and the environment. I am very proud to represent Lethbridge in this legislature. I am proud of the history, the heritage and the diversity that it embodies. I believe it can be an example to all of Alberta in how it blends its fantastic mosaic of people, culture and ethnicity into innovative solutions, collaborative partnerships and economic stability. Lethbridge truly embodies the spirit of our beautiful province of Alberta, and I'm so incredibly proud to stand here today representing the constituency of Lethbridge East. To all of my constituents, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the honour and privilege of standing here today. I pledge that together we can once again make Alberta strong and free.